Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure load balancing over multiple gateways. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to bridge. And we're also going to, I'm going to also open, open interfaces because we're going to make changes in both areas. Alright, so with the interfaces, we're going to use Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2 as our one interfaces. So first thing is that ensure that you're connected to the last port of your router. So I'm using an applet. Uh, so I'm connected to port um, Ethernet 4, port 4. So try and connect to the last port because what happened during this configuration, you lose connectivity. And uh, some of the time, depends, depending on which port is configured first, you, you won't be able to get back in the router. So always conf try to connect to the last port and then configure from the top coming down. So the first port that we're going to configure is Ethernet 3. And we're going to change Ethernet 3, the master port, to say none. Then we're going to go into the bridge. And we're going to put Ethernet 3 into the bridge. Then Ethernet 4. I'm going to set Ethernet 4, um, the master port for Ethernet 4 to be Ethernet 3. So now Ethernet 3 is going to be the master port for all um, all the other ports. Click OK. At this time, that you will be disconnected because I'm connected to Ethernet 4. Um, so you can just give it a few seconds and then reconnect. Okay, all right. Now I'm going to remove Ethernet 2 from the bridge, and I'm now going to rename the interfaces. So I'm going to call this one the first one, 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 and this is one, two. All right, I'm going to go over to IP DHCP client and I'm going to configure the DHCP for each interface. I'm going to remove this to say no rip, um, default route. OK. And I'm going to add a new interface, which is 1, 2. I'm going to say no default route. OK. So now these are the two interfaces that we are going to use, are the two gateways. All right, I can close this. I can just leave. I can, I'm going to leave that. All right, now we're going to go over to IP firewall and we're going to go over to Mongo. I'm going to create some Mongo rules. All right, the first one that we're going to create is um, we're going to set it, the chain to pre routing, the destination address. So let me just put this over here so you can actually see what's happening here. For reference, you know the ports, the interfaces that I'm configuring. So I'm configuring, this will be Ethernet, the first one interface, and this uh, distant destination address is this, and if the in interface is the bridge, so in interface should be the bridge, and the action is accept, apply. Then we're going to create another rule for the other interface like this. So what I'm going to do is to just copy this rule. And I'm going to just change the destination IP address. Apply. OK. OK. So I've created two, two rules. I'm going to add some more. All right. This rule now is to mark the connections that are made um, through the interfaces. So the in interface would be the one, double um, one, the first one connection, and uh, the mark, the pocket, the connection mark would be no mark, and the action, we're going to create a new connection mark, and we're going to call this one, one underscore con for the first connection. And then apply. I'm going to create a next one similar to this for 
for the second interface. So for the one, two action, I'm just going to just change up this. So we have two rules. So most things that we are going to do, we are going to create two rules for each interface. All right, so we have two rules here for, for those interfaces. I'm going to add some more. All right, this rule, this rule now is to is to, is to configure the the per connection um, classifier. This will tell um, which interface the traffic is going over. So the in interface for this is the bridge connection mark none. All right, then we're going to go over to X um, advanced and then the classifier, the per connection classifier, what they call PCC. We're going to select both addresses. And this one we're going to put number two. And then extra, we're going to go to destination address. And we're going to choose local and tick invert. So you're saying this rule will only work for traffic that is destinated, that is not destined for the local network. So this is what this, this, this rule is doing. And then the action now is to mark the connection. And we're going to mark this connection as the first one connection. Apply this. We copy this rule because we are going to create a next one. And the only two things that we are going to change in extra, um, not in extra, in advance, I'm going to change this number to one to say the second interface. And for the action, we're going to mark the connection as one, two, and then OK, OK. All right, we have some more rules to create. Uh, this rule now is to mark, is to put a marking on the route that the traffic is taking through the interface. So this one, we're gonna leave pre-route as the chain. Then the connection mark, we're gonna use the first one connection and the in interface is a bridge And then we're going to add a mark, but this time we're going to mark routing. I'm going to call this two, one, one. So this is all traffic going through through the first one interface. We're going to mark the route for that. Apply. Just going to copy this rule again. I'm going to just make a change to for the second interface. I'm going to just change up this, then OK. So mostly, as you, as you as you may have noticed, most of the things that we are doing now um, is really duplication. For so anything that we do for one inter one of the interfaces, we have to do it for the second interface. All right. So we have mark we have marked the road for that. Um, next one is that we're going to uh, create another rule, and this rule is going to be on the output chain. And this is for traffic that is leaving that is leaving the router and we're going to mark this so the connection mark is for the first one connection and we're going to add action we're going to mark the route and the new route we're going to mark it with the same for the first one connection I'm going to copy this and I'm going to make a change to it. I'm going to mark it for the second connection. OK, OK. All right. All right. So we have finished creating the, the Mongo rules. We are now going to create um, the the masquerade, we're going to add another masquerade or a source nut for the other interface. So currently the default is 
for the first one connection and we're going to add another one so shortcut is just make a copy of the existing rule and change the interface the out interface to the second connection to the second one connection and click OK so we just duplicated this this rule alright we're going to go over to routing IP routes and we're going to create some routes so the first route that we're going to create is to first gateway so look um, so the first gateway is for the one first one connection and when the gateway check is ping so this will check to see if the gateway is reachable and if it is down then it will choose to use the other gateway so that is how the load balancing come in where it is able to determine whether or not the interface is up and use the other interface and all that based on latency and all of that so and then for the routing mark so we're going to look for traffic that has a particular mark and this is for the first one connection and we're going to apply that okay we're going to create a next one and this one would be for the second interface we're going to check check the gateway and also we're going to use the routing mark for that connection apply ok um, next I'm going to add another route uh, this one is destined for the first interface first one interface and we're going to check also but the distance is going to be 1 um, this distance is actually you can use this to determine your preferred route so the so the one one is um so the lower the number it's the more the router will prefer that route than other routes so you can play around with this to based on the speed of your connections you can adjust it for it to use one route more than the other so I'm gonna leave this put this to one okay I'm gonna add the next one I'm going to check this check this gateway and I'm going to use a distance of also one and as I said before you can change this number um, based on your needs alright so that we have just configured the load balancing over multiple gateway now we're going to do some tests and see how how this um, traffic flows over the connection and already you can see some traffic bouncing through across both connections so I'm going to start up a, a download and see can I get an appreciation how the traffic is um, is used across both interfaces so right now it's using up the first interface more but you realize it it fluctuates in between the interfaces and realize it's using this interface more which is one one two the second one connection and the reason is is that this connection has a lower latency but the router will actually fluctuate between them so even so from time to time it will use both connections so we can see that the router is now um, balancing the load across connections alright what I'm going to do I'm going to unplug one of the Ethernet cable for one of the interfaces so I'm going to unplug one of them now alright so I've unplugged Ethernet 2 and you're seeing where the traffic is now going over just um one interface i'm going to plug back that in and you see where the traffic start going over the next one i'm going to plug out the next one now 
and you see what happened. So now the traffic is going over the next interface. So you realize that the load balancing and failover is actually working. So if, if you lose connectivity, your, your router will automatically switch over to the other interface. So you won't lose connection. So that is how you configure load balancing over multiple gateways. Hope you enjoy this video and please remember to give me a thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so and if you have a comment please leave it and I'll respond to you. So thanks for watching.